is the number 22 car of Darrell Kime. It's the number 51 is the Commodore of Ray Wright. Number 71 is the Tirana of Ray Sweeney. The number 31 is the Grand National Mini of uh, Merv Wilson. Now the 33 is Driver. The 39 is Northcott. The 21 is Butler. The 25 is uh, John Gore. The four is Max Fitzpatrick. The 11 is Des Disney. And the 10 is Sir Kerry Jones. Eight laps for the Division Two boys. And the green flag falls, off they go. John Pilato got away quickly on the outside to take up the running now from uh, Darrell Kime. Going, oh, Kime's in trouble so early in the race. He's uh, pulled out on the infield. Gives Pilato the lead. Ian Cotton is off out after him. Then Bernard Roberts in the 44. Ray Wright in the yellow Commodore number 51 is holding down fourth place and trying to look for the way past Bernard Roberts at the moment. Then there's a gap to Ray Sweeney in the blue Tirana number 71, followed by the Mustang number 33 of Phil Driver. The number 21 of Brian Butler is uh, well back in the field at the moment. Merv Wilson in the number 31 is dropping back even further as around the outside of him goes Max Fitzpatrick. In the number 39 is Alan Northcott. Then the 25 of John Gore. And then the number 11, Des Disney. And the 10 of Jones. The number 3 is um, Pilato. Number 80 is Ian Cotton. Who's starting to peg him back to. Pilato's starting to blow just a little bit of smoke in the number three. Ian Cotton in the number 80, keeping the pressure on him. Then there's a bit of a gap back to the number 44 of Bernard Roberts in the Rover, who's under some pressure by the yellow Commodore number 51 of Ray Wright, and Ray Wright looking to dive through on the inside of Bernard Roberts too to try and take third place away from him if he can. Max Fitzpatrick is also working hard on Ray Sweeney in um, fifth and sixth place. There's trouble there with Sweeney and Fitzpatrick. Race still continues though. Down main straightaway comes our leader, the number three of Pilato. Uh, I think he's starting to nurse the car because Ian Cotton is sitting right on his bumper bar now. There's only a lap and a half to go. It'll be interesting to see whether Pilato can hang on. They're only going to get the white flag here to indicate a lap to go. Pilato seems to have Cotton's measure at the moment. Cotton is going to try hard on this last lap if he can possibly pick up Pilato. Pilato leading. Cotton drifts to the outside, trying to uh, hook it back in tight and low on the inside of Pilato coming into the last corner. Pilato's got the lead in the number three and he'll have enough in hand to come down and take the checkered flag. Three Pilato from 80 Cotton, 44 is Roberts, 51 is Wright, four is Max Fitzpatrick, followed by 21 Butler, then the 11 of Disney, 39 is Northcott, 31 is Wilson, 33 Driver, the 25 of Gore, the 71 of Sweeney, and a time of 235.823. Two, 35.823 with three Pilato, 80 Cotton, 44 Roberts, 51. Pilato's got a flat tyre too. That might have been the thing that was um, blowing smoke. He's only just made it, hasn't he? He's Flag ball. 
balls and away they go and Bernard Roberts had the advantage of the inside running and used that advantage nicely to take the lead as they go down the back straight. Brian Butler in second place followed by the 22 of Darrell Kime who's gone round and round in front of Pilato and underneath went Ray Wright, around went Max Fitzpatrick, Durham and uh, the number 20, uh, no, the num not the number 25 car. It's, so we'll see if we can get them away this time in the production sedan division two sprint. Away they go, Bernard Roberts got away very, very smartly. Brian Butler was a little bit slow to move and in fact uh, made a little bit of a mess of turn one and two. Another car in uh, difficulty too is the Ray Wright car is up high on the track but coming down main straight away Bernard Roberts is looking for the winning post he's out in front from Brian Butler there's Pilato going through on the inside of the mighty mini of Merv Wilson then comes the number four car of Max Fitzpatrick followed by the 33 of Driver but it might be Bernard Roberts night tonight he's starting to get things uh, mobile and the Rover is out in front from the 21 of Butler, who's holding a pretty hungry pack of cars at bay. That pack is led by John Pilato. Also joining in is Merv Wilson in the mini. And then right behind, waiting to pounce, is Max Fitzpatrick in the number four. Down Main Straight, and Bernard Roberts is the leader. Then there's a jolly good race going on for the minor placings between Brian Butler in the 21, John Pilato the 3, Merv Wilson the 31, Max Fitzpatrick the 4, and Des Disney starting to peg them back now in the 11 too. Here's Pilato looking to come through on the inside of Butler but he can't make it at the moment and in the meantime Bernard Roberts is enjoying the lead. Here's Pilato with an opportunity to come through on the inside of Butler if he can make it but he can't quite get there. Butler's on the outside, Pilato is on the inside and then comes Max Fitzpatrick followed by Des Disney and Merv Wilson copying the caution flag. Down the back straight away, Bernard Roberts is still the leader by about 60 metres. Then comes 21, Brian Butler. John Pilato is really working hard at him, trying to come through on the inside now as they come down main straight away. And in fact, he gets through on the inside of Brian Butler. Then comes the number 11 of Des Disney, followed by the four of Max Fitzpatrick. Down the back straight away, Bernard Roberts has got him sewn up at the moment, but there's a good race going on between Pilato and uh, Butler coming down main straight away or Pilato got a little bit untidy and he got the black flag. Pilato has been black flagged from the race. He's running in third place at the moment so we can uh, forget about him actually and as they come down to take the chequered flag we can just about forget them anyway because 44 of Bernard Roberts is first and his first win. Good on him. 21, Brian Butler. Then the three of John Pilato who was actually back flagged. Then 11, Des Disney. 31 is Merv Wilson. 33 three is Phil Driver, the 25 is John Gore, and then the 71 of Sweeney and the 10 of Glenn Durham, with the four of Max Fitzpatrick rolling across the line in last place. Two, 25.585 is the time to final. Away they go. Green flags drop. Ray Sweeney's gone for a uh, spin-o. And Phil Driver, Phil Driver just drove past Ray Sweeney and had his rear left-hand tyre pulled straight off. Okay, the green flag falls again and it's uh, Ian Cotton going into turn number one, the leader. Ray Wright trying to go through on the inside of him. And Cotton is the leader, followed by the 80, uh, the 51 of Ray Wright. Then comes the 39 of Alan Northcott, followed by the 21 of Brian Butler. Then the four of Max Fitzpatrick and the 44 of Bernard Roberts. 
31, Merv Wilson is uh, really just creeping around the track at the moment. 80 is Cotton. He leads. Interesting duel is going on between Brian Butler and Alan Northcott at the moment. With Butler coming round the outside. Oh, bang, into the wall went Butler. He came round there too high. Max Fitzpatrick's down nice and low on the low line. Ian Cotton's in trouble. He's stuck up high on the track. Looking for a way to come down. Yellow lights on, which is bad luck for Brian Butler because he'd just gone to the lead in the bottom turn. And then come uh, the yellow lights and he unfortunately uh, has to get another shot at it. It'll probably leave, in fact, Ray Wright in the lead when they're gridded up, but we'll see how the lap scorers have got them situated. And six laps to go. There's the green. Now right on the inside and Butler on the outside will continue their struggle. Butler will probably do the better here with Butler going right round the outside of uh, Ray Wright. He's uh, still got the advantage. Wright backed off a little bit there and here comes Matt Fitzpatrick looking for the split between the two of them and almost got it too. Butler's high up on the track. Fitzpatrick's doing a lot better down on the low line. Butler in the red Commodore number 21 is the leader. Four, Max Fitzpatrick is in second place looking to come through on the inside of him and doing so. No, Butler comes back at him on the outside. It's Butler the leader followed by Fitzpatrick then Wright, Northcott, Disney followed by Gore, Roberts, Pilato, a long way back to Wilson, and then comes Jones. But coming down the main straightaway, still Brian Butler is defying the opposition to run him down. He leads, but he's only narrowly in front from Max Fitzpatrick, who's throwing everything at him now on the inside. Fitzpatrick doing the better in the Corvette, is going to take up the running. Fitzpatrick on the inside, Butler on the outside. Butler still coming back at him. Butler on the outside, Fitzpatrick on the inside, and Wright looking for the split down the centre. There's only two to go from here. Any one of these top three cars could win it. Butler on the outside. On the inside is Fitzpatrick. Wright is coming at them strongly. And Des Disney joining in to make it a four car war. Down main straight away. Butler's got back to the lead again. Butler in front. Followed by Fitzpatrick. And here comes Disney. Round the outside. With one lap to go. Disney's giving it everything. Fitzpatrick on the inside. Butler on the outside. Disney looking for the way through the centre. Ray Wright's dropped off the pace down to the chequered flag Fitzpatrick inside Butler on the outside Disney on the inside Fitzpatrick first Disney second Butler third then came Ray Wright followed by Alan Northcott then John Gore Bernard Roberts John Pilato Merv Wilson and um, Glenn Durham well, a very good race, a good race, and Max Fitzpatrick deserves a big burst of applause. For Max Fitzpatrick, the winner in the Terrace Concrete Corvette. For Max Fitzpatrick, the winner. Give him a big round of applause. That was a good race.